we're going to say just a few words about the print statement. The print statement, or more accurately called the print function, is a function that takes arguments and shows those argument values in the Python shell. And so, for example, if I say print uh, the integer 23, the floating point number 45.6, the string hello, and perhaps the integer 34, then the result is simply to see that the values were in fact printed all on a line. But notice that between each of those arguments we see a space. So by default what the print does is takes each of the data objects that it's told to print out, converts those to some kind of a viewable form, and then places a space in between to delimit the individual arguments. Now a couple of things to notice. First of all, the string hello, when it's printed, doesn't have quotes. And that's true about strings in general. When you have a string and you print it, the printable version, the, show, the viewable version of a string isn't going to include the quote characters because they're not part of the original string. The quote characters are used to delimit the characters that are included in the string. And the other thing to notice is that, as we said before, this is all going to be placed on one line, and so the delimiter value that is used is important, otherwise we wouldn't know where one value starts and one value ends. So there are a couple of options that we can use here to adjust some of those things. For example, we could set up our print the same way we did before, but this time we could introduce what's called an optional parameter or an optional argument, and we could use the separator argument. And if we do this, if we include this optional argument, it allows us to define a separator string. So sep, S-E-P, equal, it's kind of an assignment statement. It's actually a value for a parameter. And we could say, let's make this three stars. So now what's going to happen is when this print function executes, the values are going to show as they did before, but the separator character, instead of using the default blank, is going to be three stars. And if we execute the print function, we can see those three stars showing up. So this gives us some control over the kind of output that we create. We could create space delimited by default, we could create comma delimited, we could create star delimited, we could do a number of things to delimit the values that our print function produces. The other optional argument that we could include using the same example here would be to tell the print function how to end each line. And to do that, we would include the end argument. And again, this is a string. And so if I put the stars at the end, then what we'll see is that we'll have default space delimiting in between the argument values. But at the end of the line, we'll see our three stars. Now, but by default, the end is always going to be the new line character, which means that when the string is finished printing, then we'll go down and start the next line. If we don't include the new line character, then lines would continue uh, one after another on the same line. And so it's important to think about the fact that that new line character by default is an important sort of property of a typical print that each line wants to be printed on its own. However, if you want to do a print and then build up a single line by a number of prints in a row, then changing the end of the line makes sense.